find x of k. Find the DFT of the given sequence. X of n is equal to 1, 2, 2, 1. Find the DFT, 4 point DFT. And by seeing the problem, we can know that there are given number of samples are 4. So therefore, for this problem, for this problem, n is equal to 4. Okay. Now, we know that x of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 n minus 1 x of omega n power k n. Where omega n power k n is a twiddle factor, we know that for n is equal to 4, we have to find out 4 twiddle factor. That is omega 4 power 0, which value is 1. We already know how to find those values. Okay. Omega 4 power 1 is equal equal to minus j omega 4 power 2 is equal to minus 1 as well as next omega 4 power 3 is equal to plus j. These are the four twiddle factors for n is equal to 4. Similarly, for n is equal to 5, 8, we have to find out the 8 twiddle factors. What is omega n? Omega n is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n which is given by car pi by n minus j sin pi by n, we know that, okay, expand for any k is equal to 0 to 3, we will get these four twiddle factors. Now, coming to the problem, now expand the summation for k is equal to 0, for k is equal to 0, expand, expand equation 1 from n is equal to 0 to 3. So this is the problem. Now I will go with k is equal to zero. X of zero is equal to I will expand this omega x of zero n is four. So omega four power k is zero, n is zero. For k is equal to zero, expand. expand n from 0 to 3. Okay, now omega 4 power 0 to 0 plus x of 1 omega 4 power k is 0 n is 1 plus x of 2 omega 4 power k is 0 n is 2 plus x of 3 omega 4 power Omega 4 power k is 0. And uh, n is 3. Now, what is the given sequence x of 0? x of 0 is 1. And omega 4 power 0 value is 1. Plus x of 1 is 2. Omega 4 power 0, 1 into 0 is 0. Omega 4 power 0 is 1. Plus x of 2 value is 2 and uh, omega 4 power 0 plus 2 into 0 0 its value is 1 plus x of 3 value is 1 and uh, omega 4 power 0 is also 1. Now 1 into 1 1 plus 2 into 1 2 plus 2 plus 1 so therefore x of 0 is equal to 6. This is the first value. Similarly we have to find out for x is equal to 1, x of 2, and x of 3. Okay. So, remaining for k is equal to 1, you have to find out x of 1. For k is equal to 2, you have to find x of 2. For k is equal to 3, you have to find x of 3 for k is equal to 3. Now, I will show x of 1. Then, remaining x of 2 and x of 3, you have to calculate as per the given procedure. Okay. And find out x of k for n is equal to 4. 
now coming to next one k is equal to 1 for k is equal to 1 what is the formula x of 1 is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 n minus 1 is 4 minus 30 is n is 4 4 minus 1 so x of n omega n is omega 4 power k n k n here k is 1 and n is there now expand this x of 1 is equal to x of 0 omega 4 power 1 into 0 for k is 1 n is 0 to 3 now this summation becomes 3 plus x of 1 omega 4 power k is 1 n plus 1 plus x of 2 omega 4 power k is 1 n is 2 plus x of 3 is omega 4 power k is 1 and n is 3. So this is the case 2 for k is equal to 1. Now substitute the values and total factors find x of 1. Now x of 1 is equal to x of 0 is 1 and omega 4 power 1 into 0 is 0 it is nothing but 1 plus x of 1 value is 2 omega 4 power 1 omega 4 power 1 is minus j this value becomes minus j plus x of 2 value is 2 omega 4 power 2 omega 4 power 2 is minus 1 plus x of 3 value is 1 omega 4 power 3 is plus j now simplify 1 into 1 1 plus into minus minus 2 j plus into minus minus 2 plus j. So x of 1 is equal to, so 1 minus 2 is minus 1, minus 1, minus 2j plus j is minus j. This is x of 1. Similarly, you have to calculate, similarly you have to calculate, x of 2 and x of 3. Same method, you can calculate x of 2 and x of 3. x of 2 value is equal to, I will give the answer directly, x of 2 value is equal to 0 and x of 3 value is equal to minus 1 plus j. Therefore, for given x of n, okay, dft of x of n is x of k which is equal to 6 minus 1 minus j 0 minus 1 plus j. This is the given, this is the dft of the given sequence x of n is equal to 1, 2, 2, 1. This problem will ask an exam for five to six marks in exam okay so it's easy direct question so you remember only the formula and twiddle factors you know the twiddle factors for n is equal to four directly expand the summation and put the twiddle factor and given sequence values and do simple common addition and multiplication okay and add all the given samples you'll get the required dft x of k for the given sample x of n okay so this is the uh, direct method and it is also called as formula expansion method. We'll have one more method to find the DFT of the given sequence by using matrix method, by using matrix method. So I will show the second alternative method, matrix method. In exam, if they will ask a particular method, matrix method, you can do only by using matrix method. Otherwise, you can adapt any method which is convenient to to solve the problem if it is not mentioned in the problem just to find the df of the given sequence it is left to you how to solve the problem whether you go with the formula expansion method or matrix method it is left to you no so the choice is given so if it is clearly mentioned to solve by using matrix method so there is no other option you have to go with the matrix method only so now i will expand the alternative method for calculating 
take the second problem. Okay. Compute. 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 The DFT. Compute the DFT of the following sequence. Compute the DFT of the following sequence. X of pen is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So from the given problem, we can come to the direct. How many samples are given? There are four samples. Therefore, the length of the given problem is four. It contains four samples. So therefore, n is equal to four. n is equal to four. So here we are applying the matrix method. Okay. So in normal method, what do you have to find out DFT? So DFT of x of n is x of k. So x of k is equal to summation n is equal to zero to n minus one x of n omega n power k n. This is the formula which are going to use in the formula expansion method. So in matrix method, what I'm doing, so here x of k is there. I will take x n, x n, okay, x n. So length is four. So therefore, what is the given length? So which is equal to total factor I will take first omega n. And what is the given sample? X n. I will take it as x n. This is the formula, okay, which is which is going to use in the matrix method. So what it says that n is column matrix and x of n is column matrix. Okay, it shows that if n is equal to four, it is four cross one matrix. If it is four cross one matrix, both x n and x n are column matrix. Okay, this omega n is a total factor. It is for given problem n is equal to four. So therefore, it is a four cross four matrix. It is a four cross four matrix. Four cross four matrix. So except this x ten given sample, it is four cross one matrix. That is n cross one matrix. Here also n cross one matrix. N cross one matrix. It is n cross n matrix. N cross n matrix because we are for each value of k. We are expanding n from 0 to n minus 1. Therefore, for k is equal to 1, 0, expand n from 0 to n minus 1. For k is equal to 1, expand 0 to n minus 1. For k is equal to 2, expand n from 0 to n minus 1. For k is equal to 3, expand n from 0 to n minus 1. So, therefore, it becomes n cross n matrix. Okay. Now, so I will rewrite the formula once again. Again, x of 4 is equal to omega 4 into x4. As I, I told, it is a 4 cross 1 matrix. I will say it is x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3. Okay. x of 3. Now, how to write the n cross n matrix? It is 4 cross 4 matrix. I will write omega 4 power 0. First row for each value of k, n is 0. n is 0 to n minus 1. So therefore, omega 4 power 0. Here also omega 4 power 0 because you multiply anything by 0, it becomes 0. For k is equal to 0. For k is equal to 0 expand n from 0 to n minus 1. So therefore, I will get it all value 0 because anything divided by 0 is 0. So therefore, I'll get it 0. Now for k is equal to 1. k is equal to 1. For k is equal to 1, it becomes omega 4 power 0. First value is 0. Multiply anything is 0. Now for k is equal to 1, n is equal to, it becomes omega 4 power 1. Next, omega 4 power 2. Next, omega 4 3. Next, for k is equal to 0, omega 4 0 into 2 is 0. Next, 
omega 4 power 2 into 1 is 2 2 next omega 4 power 2 into 2 is 4 4 next omega 4 power 2 into 3 is six. next for k is equal to 3 3 multiply by 0 multiply by 0 so you'll get it 0 omega 4 power 3 into 1 is 3 omega 4 power 3 into 2 is 6 omega 4 power 3 into 3 is 9 okay and this becomes a column matrix four cross one matrix it becomes x of 0 time domain sequence x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 okay now we can go to the next step here you can clearly observe this matrix we know only twiddle factors for n is equal to 4 for it twiddle factors are n is equal to 4 twiddle factors are omega 4 4 0 1 2 3 now, as we know that for calculating the DFT, it holds good for two properties. One is periodicity property, okay, and symmetry property. So, what is periodicity property? Omega n power k plus n is equal to omega n power k. It holds good as this because the given signal is periodic in nature of the particular given sequence length, okay. The sequence are continuously repeating, okay, repeating. So, therefore, omega n power k plus n is equal to omega n power k. It means that for after the given length n, okay, the sequences are repeating in nature. The sequences are repeating in nature. Now, you can observe here where omega 4 power 6, here omega 4 power 6, omega 4 power 6 is nothing but omega 4 power 2. It means that what is the given length? The given length n, given length n is 4. So you have to subtract it from the given length, the power. So 6 minus 4 is 2. So therefore, omega 4 power 6 is omega 4 power 2. Okay. So omega 4 power 3, omega 4 power 6 is omega 4 power 2. Omega 4 power 9 is omega 4 power 5. Subtract with the given length. It becomes omega 4 power pi, omega 4 power 1. So, therefore, so I can rewrite the total factor as omega 4 power 0, 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 1, 2, 3 omega 4 power 0 2 omega 4 power 4, 4 is omega 4 power 0 because the given length is 10 is 4 after 4 sequences the signal sequence will be repeating the next sequence will be 0 so therefore omega 4 power 4 is omega 4 power 0 next omega 4 power 6 there are 6 and there are 6 total factors there so 6 total factors nothing but the given length is 4, so it will be second total factor of after the sequence, okay, repeating sequence, okay, this is a omega 4 power 2. Similarly, omega 4 power 0, omega 4 power 3, next, omega 4 power 6 is nothing but, again, I told 2, omega 4 power 9 sample is nothing but omega 4 power uh, minus 4 is 1. Okay, how it is 1? Omega 4 power 9 is nothing but omega 4 power 5. Omega 4 power 5 is nothing but omega 4 power 1. And you substitute the sequence x of 0. So it is x of 0 is 0. It is 1. It is 2. It is 3. Now I will go into Substitute all the total factors, substitute all the total factors. So therefore, I will write it x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3. 
uh, substitute the dual factors. First row, first column is one. Because first row for k is equal to zero, so zero multiply anything is zero. So each time first row and first column value is one because value is zero. Omega four power zero, omega four power one. It is zero one two three. So it becomes one minus j minus one plus j. Next, zero two omega four power two is minus one. Okay, next one minus one. Next, omega four power zero omega four power three is plus j. Next, one becomes minus one plus j becomes minus j. Now. To take sequence zero, one. Now simplify this. One into zero zero. This row is multiply with this column. This column you have to multiply. So one into zero zero plus one. Plus one into two two plus three. Now one into zero zero plus one minus j into plus one is minus j minus two plus three j. Second third row zero minus one plus two minus three. So zero plus j into one is Plus j minus one into two is minus two minus j into three is minus three j. It becomes six <coughs> plus three j minus j is plus two j minus two minus two j minus two plus two j. Next minus three minus one minus four. Minus four plus two is minus two. Next, minus three j plus j is minus two j minus two. So, so minus two minus two j is the x of k. Okay. So this is the second alternative method. Okay. To find the DFT of the given sequence by using matrix method. Okay. So only one thing you have to remember is so once the sequence is repeated. Out of the given length n, you have to take the repeating signals to the dual factor, so that you have to keep it in mind and put that dual factor value in the matrix method and substitute and do the multiplication. You get the required DFT of the given sequence. Okay. With this, I will uh, stop this lecture video. So, any doubt? I will we will be discussed in the uh, regular class hours. Just go through this video. I will share this screen. Okay. So whatever I will explain today, so I will share everything this image, okay, in uh, Teams, both, okay.